Hey everybody, Jim the Tabletop Engineer here. In this episode, I'm going to make some more fantasy scatter terrain. I started off this project by creating a pillar. Uh, you can check one of my earlier videos a few weeks back, the five scatter terrain pieces. I'll try to remember to put a link up here in the corner of the screen to show you how I made it. But basically you just take a piece of foam and cut it at various bevels. Uh, I broke the tip off to make it look like a, um, a, a pillar that had broken. Next I took a piece of chipboard and I glued a bunch of chipboard strips across it to simulate the bottom of a wagon, the planks. I also cut two wagon wheel shapes out and glued planks across it. And then when the glue dries, I'll be able to cut these circles out and they'll look like wagon wheels. Next, what I did was I took some small craft sticks and I cut them about, I don't know, a quarter inch tall and I glued them in the four corners of the wagon. Uh, these will be used to hold the sides, which I made out of chipboard here. I just glued one piece on three different sides, leaving the front open. Next, I uh, cut out the wagon wheels and I glued a small plank uh, of chipboard across to simulate that bar that would hold the wheel pieces together. Next, I tried out various layouts of how I wanted the, um, the crushed wagon to look. So once I was happy with the layout, I glued one wagon wheel down as, it, as if it had broken off. And then I glued the other wagon or the, the wagon with the one remaining wheel in place and then I glued the capstone that had come off in the wagon as if it had crushed the wagon. I added some random uh, craft sticks in various places to simulate uh, broken wood and just, just random debris. Each month, Bexham's Bazaar RPG and Wargaming Magazine provides gamers with articles, props to print and cut out for players, mini adventures, new monsters, and much more. Look in the description below for details on how to get a few free issues so you can see what you're missing. After that, I took tacky glue, my standard way of, gra of uh, basing, and I covered the entire thing with little pebbles and sand to simulate the ground. You'll have to use a stick to get this down in the tight spaces. After that, I took some flat black acrylic paint and based everything in black, uh, including underneath the wagon. You know, you don't want something looking, <laughs> looking unfinished. And then I took various colors of uh, shades of brown to color the debris. I used uh, burnt sienna for the wagon wheels and the wagon body. And then I used various shades of gray to um, to coat the, uh, the pillar, as well as uh, rocks and stone around. I used a lighter gray to dry brush the basing, and then I used a little bit of white to give it a frosty, snow-covered look. And I also used this to hit various parts of the wagon, such as the wheels and the body. And here it is, all done, and the only thing to add was some little tufts of grass to make it look a little more realistic. I hope you like it. I'll see you in the next uh, quick vid.